We have here with Dr. Mini KM, Chairperson, Department of Civil Engineering, Amada School of Engineering, Etimade, Coimbatore. What do you think our students could do after they complete their B.Tech in Civil Engineering? Should they take up an entrepreneurship? Should they start a business for themselves? That's number one. Or should they take up the placement or the, the jobs, what they offers that they get? Or they should go for a higher studies. What is your recommendation as a chairperson of yeah. civil engineering? So, uh, by when they are coming to the third year, they will complete all the, their core courses. Yes. So, the students, they will feel interest in some of the specializations and will guide the students to take that specialization Absolutely. if okay. they are planning for higher studies. Okay. Accordingly, they can select the elective courses because these are the higher end courses. They can select the elective courses based on their specialized interest. So you guide them, right? Yeah, we'll guide them. Wonderful. And those who are planning for the placement yearly, some, I can say 99, 98 to 99% they will get through the campus interview. Great. So uh, for them also, what they are doing is after uh, two to three years, either the company will sponsor them for the higher studies or they themselves will choose for the higher studies options and they'll come back to us about the guidance. Okay. Uh, majority of the students, what do they do? Majority now the present trend is mainly they are going for the higher studies. They are going for yeah. the higher studies. So when they are going for the higher studies, we'll tell them if they are planning to continue in India, we'll tell them to uh, write the gate exam. Oh. So if they are getting a good score, they can go into any of the premier institutes okay. or through that PSUs, they can uh, directly public join the public yeah. sector, they can directly join there. Or if you are, their option is for the higher studies abroad, so there they can write this GRE TOEFL. So right. some sort of career guidance also we are giving from our department. We will arrange the invited talks with the experts in that field who uh, cracked this gate exam, then Indian Engineering Service, IES, and then UPC exams and all. Because there are a lot of government opportunities for the students, civil engineering students in the field. You did mention about you preparing your students for the industry ready, right? Yeah. I mean, you, you would help them to be industry ready. Wonderful. That is uh, well said. Uh, but my question is, you also spoke about GATE, you also spoke about UPS examination, you spoke about GRE. Uh, what type of assistance do you give to the students in clearing those GREs and uh, GATE or GMAP, whatever you call it? What type of help and assistance do you give to our students? In, uh, because these exams are not easy. Right? Yeah, so yeah, to definitely, clear off the GRE, definitely. It's to really get into the difficult. best of the universities yeah. across the world, the top 100. Uh, they certainly need help and what type of help from the department, mm -hmm. uh, being the chairperson of the, heading the department, what type of help do you give to the students? From the department, we'll tell them how to prepare for the exams and how to crack all these exams, what all the methods they are to take for the preparation that we guide them. And they, apart from that, in Amrata, we have this corporate and industry relations, CAR. CAR. That's a unique and dedicated setup to train the students for their career. So they will do all such gate coaching and GRE coaching, everything they are doing it with the support of the department. The future of civil engineering is very uh, vast and it's not like you have to see the present trend. You have to see how you will be after some 10 or after five, 5 to 10 years of graduation. And it's a very lot of infrastructure developments are coming in civil engineering. So definitely you can explore all these facilities. And another big challenge what you can have is you can start your own firms. It's easy for you to start. You don't have to depend on others. As an individual, you can start. So there are a lot of opportunities from the civil engineering field and you can contribute a lot to the society. So you can make some changes in the society also as a civil engineer. So don't see the present trend and see what others are doing. And if you're ready to work and you have an aspiration to do something for the society, I feel civil engineering is the best choice. And I'm very happy that almost all our students, they are doing great in their job.